I can't get the kids to school and to all their after school activities. I have to go out of town to help my sister. Who will take care of things while I'm gone? I'll never learn this stuff. I can't seem to understand. Wait. You don't have to. All around you are people with abilities and the potential to help with your problems. They include your friends, your family, counselors. Let's face it, we all have problems, but we don't always have to fix them by ourselves. So, let's think about what might happen in life when support networks are needed. Edema, you're enrolled in the Success Skills Program and you hope to earn an A in this class, is that correct? Yes, I do hope to earn an A. What if your car breaks down and you can't make it to class? Well, if my car breaks down, I can always ask a neighbor or a friend for a ride, even if I'm just a little bit late to class. Let's say your child is sick or has a day off from school. What will you do then? Well, child care plans are very important. So if my child is sick or he comes out of school early, I've made arrangements for my family to step in and take care of him. Suppose you've missed one class and you don't think you can catch up. Well, if I do miss a class and I don't think I can catch up, I've made arrangements um, for people that I know to come in and help me with tutoring. Wow, Irma. It sounds like you have an awesome support network when you need it. Good luck. Thank you. These people are all part of your potential support network, but you have to develop these relationships before you need them. Take the time to build a feeling of trust and shared responsibility. The most important thing to remember about support networks is that they need to be built and planned before you ask for help. 